Hi, how have you all been? I've been studying how the human mind works in the last moment of stress. And I understood that if you focus on a methodology to learn that your brain is used to understand, then you'll have to put less efforts and you will learn more. So what does that mean? Come, let me share with you this particular way of learning, right? Um, so how does the brain function? The brain is a very curvilinear organ and it hates everything which is super systematic, super linear. The brain hates it. The brain likes colors. The brain likes things which are like the mountain, the rivers, the ocean, very vague because the brain is curvilinear. Let's also build something which is curvilinear. So if you are studying a particular chapter, write the name of the chapter here. Write the name of the chapter here. Now, whatever you remember about that chapter, you will write it here. So let's say this chapter has, um, say, classification. Then say this chapter has nomenclature. Now, inside nomenclature, this has three types of nomenclature. Then this chapter has preparations. Oh, in preparations, it has five different ways of preparing. One, two, three, four, five. And all of them gives you this product, say alkanes. Now, in this, there can be symmetrical and they can be unsymmetrical. In symmetry, I'm using this reactants. In unsymmetry, I'm using this reactants and, and it's giving me this product. And I write down the properties. I break down the chapter into as many small parts that I can. I break down the chapter into as small parts as possible. I take that entire 50 page chapter or the 80 page chapter and I put it down onto one sheet. We call that mind mapping. The, the sooner you can draft the minutest things of the entire chapter onto one page, you will now have to refer just one page before your examination. Every time you refer a notes, a textbook or anything, you pick up something important, put that on your sheet. So during the physics paper, during the chemistry paper, during whichever paper you have, all you have to do is study that one sheet for that whole chapter. That one sheet should be your hyperlink to that whole chapter. Does that make sense to you? Right. So look at this a little more specific. If I have to show it to you this way, you see, like, like, a, like a rough example, halogen derivatives of alkane I've shown as classification, two types of classification. This will go into mono, di and tri. This will go into, you know, based on the position and nomenclature and the CX bond, the nature, the preparations. Write everything possible over here. When you write everything possible over there, let's say you have 35 chapters in physics, that is 11th and 12th and NCRT, sab pakade ke samjho, chapter aapke paas hai. If you can condense 35 chapters into 35 pages, isn't that wow? Now you have it all in that one page. That's what you have to do. Yeah. So keep following, write to me, like this page, subscribe to the channel and you will be receiving much more and a lot more. Thank you and have a great time.